Or are the boys pleased to be back on track? Yeah, 100%. We had to stop the rut. Um, it was very disappointing with the first half. Um, there were some truth words that were said at half time. And we came out in the second half and we were a bit disappointed that we didn't get all three points. But the most important thing was to stop the rut. Um, I feel like over the couple of games we haven't got what we deserved and at the point it was at least it was at least what we deserved today. So we're nice we stopped the rut. We'll go again Thursday and then we're away again at Grimsby. What changed in the second half? Because the boys weren't really able to give you the service you crave in the first half, yeah. but uh, two opportunities in quick succession in the second half. Yeah, it was a mindset. It was, you know, every man, everyone to a man, it was a mindset. We came out in the second half and we knew we had to run harder, we had to fight harder. We was we was, we was we was very passive in the first half, you know, me out of everybody, I was very passive. Um, and in the second half we came out and like I said, some truth words were said in the changing room and we came out and I think from minute one, minute one from the second half, you know, we showed our, um, our indication what we wanted to do um, and got ourselves in front. Like I said, a bit disappointed that we didn't see it out, but uh, like I said, the main thing was to stop the rut. We'll talk about you in a minute, but... You need service. You got it in the second half. Uh, great cross from was it Harry the first one? Yeah, um, great cross. It's like for me, like I, I thrive off service, and we got quality. And like I keep saying, in the first half, we wasn't, we didn't get in the positions to put in the quality. Um, but second half, you know, great um, ball by Harry. Um, luckily, I got my head onto it, and JJ's taking the assist for the throw in. So a great throw in by JJ, and I'm <laughs> and I managed to swivel and get in. So you know, I'm just for me more important. I put points on the board. You know, it's most important, so we're glad we've got at least a point. 16 goals for you now this season. You've overtaken Scott Kashkit, your Wickham's leading goal scorer. How does that make you feel at the age of 34 that you're still delivering in professional football here at Wickham? Oh, I'm like, Slatten's doing it, so, you know, Slatten can do it. He'd be my inspiration, so... Um, but no, for me, uh, throughout my career, I keep saying it, like, I think the team's the most important. You know, if the team does well, individually, we'll all do well, you know, and, you know, I think... Uh, Strikers are judged on goals. I don't think goals are the only thing I bring to the game, but you know, with Scotty being injured at the moment, you know, certain people have to step up. So luckily and thankfully, I'm scoring goals. So long may it continue, but it's the points that's most important. So my voice is gone. Points are most important. Um, so hopefully again, we can continue this um, back on track on Saturday. Well, yeah, one last question for me before your voice goes completely. I think you scored six goals in February. One was uh, we lost at Coventry. The other games you scored in, we've lost. Tonight, you've earned a point. Now let's go to Grimsby and score a winner, huh? Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, I thought it was a bad luck, to be fair. Um, every time I scored in this month, we lost. So um, it was kind of nice to stop the rut to score and at least get a point on the board. So, you know, um, let's hopefully three points can come Saturday. Uh, there's a massive audience thanking you on Facebook. Thank you from us as You're well. Welcome. There's some action from fans waiting for your autograph. Well. Hi, then, cool. Thank Keep you supporting so us. Thanks.